Hello. I'm going to turn this down. Both in my ears and for you. Okay. That's not the most pleasant sound. Um, but it's there. All right. Um, let me just... Uh, this is already set up to allegedly the right size window. I'm going to turn this down even further. Even though it's not registering as you can hear it. I'm turning it down further. Okay. What are we looking at today? Well, you can tell by the center there. We're looking at Telengard. Now, officially, just so you know, this is a Telengard remake, uh, version 1.07. Um, the best of uh, this gentleman's ability, let me make sure I have his name straight. It is uh, um, Telengard remake. Travis Baldry has remade Telengard, the Commodore 64 version, on a PC um, in Windows format. So we're going to give this a try. Um, you may have noticed lately, I've, I've been, for whatever reason, and I don't have the, the full psychological breakdown of why this is occurring for me, but I'm enjoying the older games more than the newer ones. I don't know if that'll hold true for Telengard. Telengard's kind of a weird roguelike, different than, definitely different than most. And in my experience in the past, I've never quite enjoyed it, but I figured now's a good time to try it. Um, in terms of my own personal history with this game, I've had minimal history with it, but when I was about 13 years old, uh, we got a Commodore 64 for Christmas, and I was so goddamn excited. It was my first uh, actual home computer I ever owned. And um, we got a few games with it, one of which was Telengard. Um, and my god, the cover art for this, this dragon grabbing a warrior Fuck was I excited about playing this game. Unfortunately, when we opened it up, we found out it had discs, and we had only a tape cassette at the time for our Commodore 64. So we had to return it to the store, and uh, we ended up getting Temple of Apshai, which, to be honest, I think is the better game. Cards on the table. Temple of Apshai is a great game. But uh, at the time, I was just always, you know, it was in the back of my mind of, oh, we had this other game in our grasp that I so wanted to play, and I, I didn't get to. So now I can play it at will, which is kind of cool. In, in the Commodore 64 version, I would have uh, I would have seen it at the time. Um, there's a few things I'll tell you about Telling Guard, and then we'll dive right in. It's going to be a short game. I don't, I don't expect I'll live long. <clears throat> um, what I want to tell you, though, specifically, is that uh, it, there's no victory condition that I can discern. You're just here to get treasure and trying to survive. The, I, I, I'll include a link to where you can get this remake. I'll include a link to where you can get the original manual. Uh, again, a nice scan of the manual. It's beautiful. Um, but uh, the manual makes it clear there's no... There's no real victory condition. It actually gives tips about how you can make this a multiplayer game by like challenging your friends to see who can get the most gold or who can level up the fastest. It gives like ten optional ways to play with your friends, you know, sequentially and seeing who can beat the other. So that's kind of your victory condition. Get more playing alone. There's no victory condition. We're just exploring the game. Um, that's about all we need to know. Let's start it out. I believe it is randomly generated dungeons. I'm 99% sure on that. But it's not a traditional roguelike in the in the sense of uh, you know a grid. Well, I guess it is a grid, but it's not the usual type of grid you're used to looking at. Um, I'll also say it is, although it's sort of turn-based, there is a time limit of like five seconds or so where you have to make a move. So it's, unless you you begin a character as a demo, that's your character name, um, you will find that you have to uh, move kind of quickly. Uh, another side note, let's do this right now, start a new character. Let me get into the actual uh, game and try that. <laughs> move this aside, start a new character. Um, we can take this or not. Let's just return. Let's use a different character. I don't like those stats at all. Oh, I guess I took it. All right, those are my stats. <laughs> um, two things. Yeah, if you type in demo here, you can uh, play in a purely turn-based mode. We're not going to do that. We're going to play the game as it was meant to be played, even though it recommends for your first game play demo. Um, if you also begin a game with the, uh, a name rather, with the letters SV, it'll allow you to resave even if you die, or reload rather, but we're not going to do that. Let's just call this first one Jeff. Let's keep it nice and simple. You are now descending into the depths of the dungeon of Talengard. Oh, fuck, we're already here. A level 2 troll. We're going to die right here. F for fight. I'm going to try casting. Spell level 1. Uh, equals is list. Magic missile. 1. Uh, I can probably do that again. No, I don't have any more spell units. SU is your spell unit. Sorry, we're in the middle of this, and I don't have time to explain this until we're... Uh, I'm dead. All right. <laughs> well, that was a quick game. That's it, guys. No, <laughs> I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Even though I have to keep this short. I have a, I'm have doing a voiceover for a commercial tomorrow, and uh, I can't blow my voice out with a lot of recording. It's part of why I turn the volume down. I hope it's not so low you can't hear anything. I'm going to turn it up a little bit for you. I'll turn it back to here now that we're off of that title screen. Do you want to try again? I do. 
Uh, let me get back to my fucking game. I do. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, this goddamn noise. Uh, I'm going to have to black out the bottom here. I'm getting a lot of uh, mouse crap. Let me expand the screen here. I want to make this bigger for you. Because I can. Ah, let's just go with it there. Okay. Bring up my thing, and I'm going to press start. I don't like that. Press any other key, I think. I want a high strength and shit. Your hit points at the start of the game are equal to your constitution. That's not bad. Let's take that. Your name. Jonas! The alias we've randomly decided to use occasionally. I have literally no idea why. Now it's just become a thing that entertains me. Okay, you found a stairway. You see a light up above. Do you want to stay or go up? Well, stay. If you go up, it's just like in, um, bam. You heal all your fucking hit points and shit. Now, you can use the directional keys on your keyboard to move around here. Let's stay. Whoops. Level one wraith. Let's fight it. Let's even cast one equals. We want turn undead. Whoops, I didn't mean that. Equals five we want. Turn undead. It listens to the deaf ears. Well, fuck it. So you can see, yeah, SU is our, our spell units. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> One more try. Yes, let's try again. Fuck, I did better in my practice game. Good enough. That's great. Bradley. No fucking reason. Random. All right, well, fuck, we're in a fucking... Let's evade. E for evade. We went west, apparently. Now let's go south. You've encountered a level one elf. All right, let's fight it. We have a lot of hit points this time. Not enough to survive for long. Let's try and get out of here. Let's go back to the town. Oh, let's get. Return to open it. Treasure dropped. Inside is 480 gold pieces. Oh, you see some jewels. Return to pick it up. Snarfed it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, evade. South. That's that same mummy we saw before. Let's go through here. Oh, fuck. Level 3 Spectre, evade. I'm rooted to the spot. I have no choice. Cast. Spell level 1. Equals. How's our wisdom? Not too bad. Let's try turn undead. 5. Fuck you, Spectre. I'm dead. <laughs> I thought we were doing so well there. We killed something. We got treasure. Yes, let's try again. Son of a bitch. That was such a good roll. This is truly 3 to 18, by the way. Unlike most games, it really is just 3 dice. So we got that. Let's do this guy. He's not bad. Oh, he's got fucking 5 hit points. Let's not do him. We need a high constitution. That's all. Okay, here, there we go. Alright, let's take him. Um, Cuthbert. Alright. I have no idea why I'm choosing these names, guys. Why, why are we always going to fucking evade? Holy fuck, we're rooted to the spot. Let's cast... Spell level one. Magic missile. Alright, we did five points of damage. We're dead. Almost. I don't know if we can evade... If we try to, try to evade, no, we're rooted to the spot. Okay, so we didn't have a choice. We're dead. This game is sucking. <laughs> I'm not I'm enjoying this. Oh, I didn't mean to say no. Let's try again. Telling guard win. Start a new character. I can't believe the lack of luck we are having here with uh, with our starting uh, you know encounters. All right, this guy isn't too bad. Adrian, Gee, you gotta be fucking kidding me. How's our wisdom? Let's just fucking let's let's try it. Well, I didn't mean to fight it. Let's try casting. Let's cast magic missile at it. Do some damage right off the bat. And see if we can't kill this level 2 mummy. If we do kill it, we'll be in a good position. We can go right upstairs and uh, and get our health back. If we hit it one more time without it hitting us, I think we'll be okay. No, I'm wrong. We're dead. Well, guys, this is not being a very fun thing for you to watch, I don't think. <laughs> or maybe it is. Maybe you're entertained as fuck to watch me repeatedly die. It's only been nine minutes. All right, let's take that guy. Um, Bob. Bob, the dude who goes into the dungeon. Okay, there's nobody fucking here. That's awesome. Level one demon. Okay, it's just a demon. 
Um, let's cast. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, cast one. Let's see our list. Maybe a uh, fucking protection from evil. It uses whip and mist. Let's fight. We're dead. <laughs> Holy fuck. If you're wondering if this is the fault of the remake, like, uh, that it's this... W I don't care, I'm taking him. That it's this weird. Um, Kyle. Um, it's not. The game was always uh, a fucking... Just insane in terms of uh, how... A level 3 kobold. We're dead. In terms of <laughs> in terms of how uh of how it functioned, uh in terms of throwing, you know, weird shit at you. Alright. Fair enough. Paul. There's any random male name that comes to mind. Level three orc, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. We're rude to the spot, we got no choice. Let's fucking hit it with uh this fucking magic missile. Did a lot of damage. That's our only spell point, though. Oh, yeah, we killed it. Holy fuck. 180 experience. Let's go up to see what happens. Where'd the worthy meet in? I remember my friend Jeff Schiller uh, at one point... Um, spend the night, you feel better. This on the Commodore 64 was written literally in basic. Um, and I remember him opening the code and changing all the names of the ends to, like, swear words. That was his big thing at the time. <laughs> What do I got to do here? We don't want to save him right now. There's no point. We're not we're not leaving the game right now. Um, can I do anything? Return to return to dungeon. I guess. Let me look at what well, while it's paused. Let me just look at the manual here um, that I was looking at earlier. Let's see what it says about um, leveling up. How do you do it? Let's see. I just pass the. Uh, Table of contents here. Why is it so fucking zoomed in? Un unzoom in. It's at three hundred and fifty-one percent. Um, let's see here. Character attributes and shit. Um, well, I don't want to bore you all to hell, but um, come on, man. Page down. How do we fucking level up? I think we need more. We need like. Actually, I can see the table of contents. We need 2,000 experience to level up. We have 180. We ain't going nowhere right now. Let's just go back in. But hey, at least you saw an in. Return. Alright. I'm going to walk around this thing again. Oh, fuck. Level 2 Hobbit. That should be easy. The Hobbit makes a quick move. You have nothing he wants to steal. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking broke. Oh, he's gone. Is he gone? He's gone. You see a large gray misty cube return to walk in. Now this, if we said yes, we wanted to walk in, it would teleport us to a random, uh, a ran maybe not random, but it would teleport us to a different dungeon level. I don't want to leave this dungeon level, so I'm not going to touch it. Let's fucking cast magic missile. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, we got it. Let's get back up to the fucking, uh, oh, jeez, return. Snarfed it. Some gold. Snarfed it. Uh, we don't have anything to cast. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go back up to the inn if we can get there. Up. That should heal us. As far as I knew. <laughs> they cash in your gold. Uh, and we got experience for that too. Just like you would in D&D. &D. Um, incidentally, it was, while it's on my mind, we just played Beyond Apple Manor. All of those uh, character level names we were getting, like Champion and Lord and Superhero, are all directly out of Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. If you look at the Fighter Advancement table, like Warrior is an earlier one, and uh, it progresses to Veteran, which they didn't use. But Champion, I think, was level 7. I'm doing this based on memory. That's how much D&D I played as a kid. Superhero was level 8. Lord was level 10, I think. Maybe level 12. Um... But yeah, that's, that's where those names came from. All right, can we buy anything here? Is that possible? We have gold zero. I, I don't know. Let's return to the damn dungeon. Maybe you can't buy anything. Maybe gold is purely to get experience. Level one demon. Uses a sword and we're dead. 
All right, guys, I'm going to play one more time. Um, as I mentioned, I have I have this, I have a job tomorrow. It requires my voice to be in tip-top shape. I shouldn't even be doing this. I told myself I wouldn't, but I was like, you know what? I feel like fucking playing something. Uh, this has been very random. Um, and random enough that I'm not, uh, not sitting here thinking, holy fuck, I want to keep doing this. But I will include a link. If you want to try it, this is a classic fucking game. Like, one of the most classic fucking, uh... All right. Oh, strength five? Fuck that. All right. One of the most classic, um... Ar... Ar... Arvin. Uh, one of the most classic, um... Well, CRPGs and, and roguelikes you will ever get a chance to play, so... <clears throat> it's worth it for the history. Oh, fuck, let's return. Let's pick that up. Snarfed it. Trap. Let's get some gems. Snarfed it. Let's go up to heal and deposit our shit. I'm surprised there's no sound effects here. It seems kind of weird. You spend the night, you feel better. Alright, let's go back into the uh, dungeon. This looks like the same map, doesn't it? Maybe it is. I could have sworn it was a... It's considered uh, by most people to be a roguelike. I'm rooted to the spot and we are going to die. No, holy fuck. Let's get the fuck out of here. No! We're dead. Alright. <laughs> this has been a short recording, man, but that's like eight games or something like that. Um, and again, actually, I'm starting to feel a little raw in my throat because I recorded a bunch of Beyond Apple Manor videos yesterday. Uh, so I'm going to call it here. That is our look at Telling Guard Remake, version 1.07. By I've said his name already, but I want to get it right again. Travis Baldry. Um, I reserve the right to return to this at some later date. If I if I if I ever try playing it and I'm like fuck, I've, I've mastered it now and realize I've been doing some stupid stuff. Maybe I'll try it again. If for that matter, um, you know, we find a an original PC version. I don't know if there was it, the the um the manual I have talks about it being for the TRS eighty, the Commodore PET, and the Commodore sixty four, and I think one of the Atari systems. Um, but uh, if, if for some reason we find an original version that's you know not a remake and it's for one of these things I may revisit it at that time as well just to see what, what it's like I think the graphics are much inferior in those versions anyways that's it for today guys um, I hope you I hope you I hope you got a good laugh uh, out of that <laughs> out of another another not so mighty adventure of biting the dust um, another not so freaking mighty YouTuber is going to go get some lunch. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.